let's take a look at how to organize our media with Windows Explorer. I'm going to navigate to my pictures folder to better organize my pictures that I have saved. By default, your pictures will be organized in the folders. You can change how your images are organized by clicking the drop down list next to Arrange By. You can choose to sort the image by month, day, rating, or tag. I'm going to go into the Samples Picture folder and select one of the images. When I select the image, you can see a lot of information about the image on the bottom. To change the information, click on it once to display the cursor, then start typing. Some of the information cannot be changed. For example, the dimensions and the size have to be changed from an image editing software and not from within Windows Explorer. If the image is not rated, then you can choose the rating that you think it's worth. When you are done adding information to the image, click the Save button to the right. When I go back to Arrange the Image by Tag, I will be able to see the newly added category. Windows Explorer also gives us the ability to share our images with other computers on the network and other people. I can share the image over the home group, or I can click the email button where my default email application will open and attach the image automatically. When I click the attach button, a box opens that asks me to choose the size of the image that I would like to send. If you want the best quality, choose to send it in the original size, and then click attach. After Windows Live Mail opens, I can type in the to address, enter a message if needed, and then click send. One other option that Windows Explorer offers is the ability to burn the selected files to a disk. To burn the files, insert a blank disk into the disk drive on the computer. Select the files that you would like to burn onto the disk, and then click the burn button. You can choose to save the files like a USB flash drive or like a CD slash DVD player. I'm going to choose the second option and click Next. In the next window that opens, choose Burn the Disk at the top of the screen. You can name the disk whatever you like. Then click Next. When the files are done burning, the disk will be ejected automatically. This process will work for all your documents, movies, and music that you have on your computer. If you are burning movies to a disk, I recommend that you burn the disk at a slower speed for better quality. In the next video, we will learn how to take pictures of the screen with the snipping tool.